Oh, hi. Thanks for watching my video. So we're back with our family tree series, this time with Peter and Polly. They were our fourth and fifth children, born into the household of 10 kids. They live in an apartment in San Myshuno. They both have their own bedrooms and they both have their degrees. Polly, I wouldn't go to sleep. We've got a busy night ahead of us. So we're going to carry on as we started. We're just gonna try and have some kids expand this family even further. I think we touched on the family tree in the last episode. So, so far the three older children are the only ones to have reproduced. Sophie's got two kids, Erica's got two kids and a wife, and Edwin has three babies by three different women. So I'm hoping that by the end of this episode we'll give Peter and Polly a child each. In fact, I'm gonna wake you up because we're gonna go out and hit the town, see if we can meet some partners. Yeah, they both have their own degrees. They've just finished from university, so I want to give them their own careers and stuff like that. But because I also want them to have children, I'm going to prioritise meeting their future partners right now. And then once we have them having a relationship with someone else, then we'll start working on their individuality, you know, like careers and stuff like that. I mean, I'm already seeing someone right there, Akira. Polly, he looks like a bit of you. Go and introduce yourself, girl. Go and introduce yourself. Is it too forward to ask him if he has children? Yes, I'm a parent. I have one child. Oh, one child isn't so bad. We could probably deal with one child. I kind of want to add him to my family tree anyway because I want to find out who he had a baby with. Right, I think Polly is sorted. She's got someone. She's got Akira. But Pete, we got to find someone for you. This sim right here is looking pretty lovely. Sachiko, why don't you come say hello to Sachiko? This girl knows her hairstyling products. Look at that. Sleek ponytail. If I were you, I would have a bowl of that, Peter. Oh, Polly, why have you left? Where did Akira go? Has he left already? Shit, I think he might be gone. Okay, that's fine. We got his number. We can invite him over. In fact, you know what? You've kind of done what I needed you to do. You've met some Sims. Let's be on our way. Pete's going a little bit slowly because he needs the bathroom. Okay, let's just quickly take care of our needs. So, Pete, you need to take a shit. Uh, could do with a quick snack. Have a quick sandwich and then you can go to bed. And then, Polly, how are your needs? Just hungry and tired. That's how I feel all day, every day. When you finish your sandwich, Polly, you can go to sleep. And then we'll work on getting you guys some jobs. Okay, Polly, I'm going to have you invite over Akira. And then Pete, I'm going to get you to find a job. Try and juggle both of you at the same time. Okay, so we, we make more money if we start off as a startup entrepreneur. So I think we should take this one. 146 simoleons a day. Very nice, very nice. Almost 2,000 simoleon signing bonus as well. Right, Pete, go get some breakfast. Oh, there's Akira, okay. Right, let's go work our... Let's go work our magic. See if we can convince Akira to take on another baby mama. I asked him if he was a parent. I didn't ask him if he was single. Hardly seems relevant. Akira, you okay there? He dislikes fitness. Oh, he's in kind of a sad mood. Right, you know what? You know what? I might just fast track this relationship. Take some selfies with Akira and we'll give them to him as gifts. I will take any relationship shortcut I can. Okay, let's do romantic gift. Small print. We'll just keep on giving him romantic gifts. I mean, to be honest, really, I don't need to work on the friendship at all because I'm not going to marry him. I'm just going to get impregnated by him. You don't need to be good friends to do that. Maybe we should offer him a rose as well. He might accept a rose by us. Little sexy pose. Oh, he's immediately in a flirty mood. Oh, this is going to be so easy. I like how our brother is just standing there watching like some kind of creep. You're a fucking weirdo, Pete. Sort it out. Go and watch cartoons or something. All right, you know what, Pete? I'm actually going to take you out of the conversation. Why don't you send a text to that girl you met and stop being such a cock block? Oh, we can go for a kiss hand under physical intimacy. Pete, please, stop being such a fucking perv. Oh, Pete's making this an awkward encounter. Pete, fuck off. Get out of here. God damn it. Okay, immediately it's gone from awkward to suggestive. Pete was the entire reason why things were awkward. All right, let's go for our first kiss. Oh, just a little kiss. And hopefully we can immediately try for a pregnancy. There we go. Get it done and then we can find a job. Right, Pete, you can invite your friend over while Polly's getting her leg over. I think I think they're on for it. Yeah, Kira said yes. He's game. 
All right, see you later, Pete. Don't, like, stand by the door. Here you go, here's, here's your guest. She knows exactly where she wants to be in the bedroom. Oh, no, using my free internet. Ah, oh. ask her about her day. See, this sim's gonna be harder to get pregnant, I think, because last time I tried doing this with the brother, even though his fertility was the highest possible, it wasn't always successful every time we tried for a pregnancy. Congratulations on losing your V-card, Polly. Now go and take a pregnancy test. How unlucky is that? First time you get knocked up. Oh, well. Akira's like, oh, I should really get going now. Just as I whip out the pregnancy test. Uh-oh, uh, probably time to go. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you're real busy. Polly is pregnant. Oh, congratulations, Polly. Well, she doesn't have a man to tell because Akira just kind of bolted. So I guess she can break the news to her brother. Let him know he's going to be an uncle. Oh, the happy new couple. And the new pregnant sister will get half her face in it. Yeah, family photo. Oh, that is nice. All right, let's just... Oh, Pete's got quite a lot of stuff in his inventory. We could have given her some seeds. We didn't even need to take the photos. Oh, well, photos always go down well. So we'll just keep giving those as a gift. And Polly, let's see if we can get you to find a job. I'm hoping she can get a job, not as an actress, but maybe a job in entertainment, because she's got a drama degree, so that should get her somewhere on the ladder. Let's see. Oh, comedian, there we go. Already part of the entertainment career. 257 simoleons an hour. Oh yes, I think so. All right, brilliant. We got a signing bonus as well. Oh, Polly. This is the good thing about having them get degrees. That I don't need to work on their promotion. So she's come in at level 7. And Pete's come in at level 7 as well. Is it too soon for a first kiss? Oh, no, it's not too soon. Right, Polly, you're going to have to stop being a nuisance. Go and take a nap or something. Go and think about baby names. Because right now you're kind of... You're pulling a Peter on your brother and it's not very nice. Oh no, I'm flattered, but I'm not interested in that type of relationship with you. But I would be happy if you'd like to be friends. Oh no, we were barking up the wrong tree. Wait, let me see if I can change that. I'm just going to try and override this. Modify household in Cass. Okay, there we go. Now we like both. Actually, one thing that's really handy about modifying this household is I can adjust her pregnancy now and make her super fertile. So that didn't turn out to be a bad thing, actually. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Oh, for some reason, I thought it would automatically switch me over to her household, but I guess not. Okay, let's try our first kiss again. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now Pete is as fertile as he can be, but I still think it's going to take a few times to try with her. Okay, try for pregnancy with Sachiko. Okay, okay, Pete, don't give it your all this time because I think you might need to go again after this. So don't waste your stamina here. He's thinking about salad. I can't blame you, Pete. Usually when I do that, I'm thinking about food too. Wait, 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 before you go, before you go anywhere. Let me see what's going on in that womb of yours. <gasps> first time, pregnant first time. Oh, Pete's obviously got a little bit more of a success rate than his brother does. Oh, good for you, Pete. Now I see why you're walking so proud. So I'm thinking, Polly, you have a job as a comedian that you are grossly underqualified for. I mean, you got it because of your education, but we have nowhere near the skills we need. So we're just going to go to like a comedy club or something and try and work on your comedy skill a little bit. Because right now you've got level two comedy skill and you should be at level eight. So probably if you go to work, you're going to tank. So let's just go to Orchard Go Go, tell a few jokes. The evening is still young, so we've got time. We're pregnant as well, so the audience will probably feel sorry for us and give us some good tips. Is that who I think it is over there? Oh, it's Abby, my OnlyFans star. Sorry, Only Sims star. She's doing pretty well with her fame, rising star. Congratulations, Abby. I'm glad the feet pics took off for you. Oh no, see you can hear Polly's kind of stumbling around her words a little bit. You know what really pisses me off about lots like this? It's my own fault for not placing any other comedy clubs. Pisses me off when I send my sims here to perform and then some fucking celebrity turns up and then no one's interested in me and they're just here to see the celebrity. Look at this cock, literally waving in my face. You may think you're so cool, Thorn, but you're a tosser, mate. Stealing the spotlight. Look at this. Everyone's staring at him. 
Oh, another thing as well, Sims 4, no one seems to respect the stage. You could have a sim perform and no one respects the stage, so you'll get on. I mean, I know this is just a rug, but even when I've performed on stage before, no one gives a shit. Oh, we gained a skill point though, level 3 of the comedy skill. We are grasping the basics of joke telling. Right, I'm just gonna let her carry on until we get to maybe comedy level 4. You know what I might do? I want, do I know Peter's girlfriend? Oh, we never actually introduce ourselves. Oh, never mind. I was gonna invite her over to put her in her third trimester, but I'll just get Pete to invite her around later. Thorn Bailey, fucking playing guitar over the sound of my jokes. Oh, what? This is ridiculous. That celebrity over there single handedly shattering my confidence. Alright, well, she's getting uncomfortable now. We didn't get comedy level four, but to be honest, there's no point. It doesn't matter what I'm trying to do. Attention whore Thorn Bailey is trying to steal the spotlight from me anyway, so I'm just gonna go home. Oh, well, we got one comedy skill. Right, how are your needs, Polly? You're pretty hungry. Oh, you can go and have that salad. And then, Pete, what are you doing? Watching a bit of TV? Perhaps we should invite your girlfriend over. We'll stick her in her third trimester so we don't have to wait long for your baby. Oh, here she is. Okay, I'm just gonna stick her in. We're gonna go for third trimester, and then that way we'll just have to wait a day before we get notified that the baby's been born. Go and give your girlfriend a kiss. And then, Polly, you're not hungry anymore, but it looks like you could do with a shower and a shit, so go do that. Who the fuck is this? Marcel Price, is he a sim that used to live on this lot or something? What? Why are you here? All right, well, Pete, you are also massively underqualified, so why don't you come and practice speech? We can at least get you to level two of the charisma skill, and then we can focus on programming. Oh, it's a lot trait. This place is haunted, I see, I see. All right, Pete's got level two of his charisma. Pete, go get some sleep. Polly's needs are pretty good, so I'm just gonna have her tell jokes, practice her comedy skill. All right, sweet, Polly's got her level four in comedy. I might just get her to practice her speech, because we're only one skill point away from the charisma requirements. And then Pete, you can get up and serve breakfast. Just do something simple like a fruit salad. I don't think he's got many cooking skills, so I have to give him something he can't really fuck up. Oh, Pete's got work in one hour. Okay, fine, fine. When do you have work, Polly? Two days. Well, that's good, because then you can spend all day sleeping. Oh, Austin's calling. I think Pani and Agata is pretty cool. Should I ask her out? You're married! No! I think Dad was just waiting for the nest to be emptied before he starts getting his leg over. Oh, Pete's home. Well, Pete, you may as well go get some sleep as well. Oh no, Polly's woken up. Polly's woken up with morning sickness. Oh, sad. I might buy Polly a little bassinet for her babe. Quite like the setup of having a boy and a girl, because then that way, only one of the babies has to live at home. The girl's child. The other mum can take care of the other one. I don't even know what Polly's having, actually. We'll let it be a surprise. I think I'm gonna get Edwin up. Get him to have some food. And then maybe we'll work on his programming a bit more. In fact, Polly, I'm going to have you come back to the mirror and try and get that charisma skill. So I'm thinking, as soon as we get the call from Pete's girlfriend to say that their baby's been born, I'm just going to put Polly straight into labour. Oh, sweet. Polly got her charisma skill. Well done. All right, now you can just tell some jokes. Oh, the phone's ringing. Hello, Peter. Such a go here. I wanted to let you know that I just had Ace, a beautiful baby boy. Oh, congratulations, Pete. Why don't you celebrate with a shit? All right, well, seeing as Pete's baby has been born, I'm going to put Polly in labor and we'll go have our baby. So we've got little baby Ace and a baby girl. Go for Luna. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, fuck, we've got twins. Oh, no. <laughs> Luna and Lillian. Let's say it's just twins now. That's enough. Okay, well, Polly and Peter have given their parents three grandchildren. That is not bad going, not bad going at all. So if I go to Austin, okay, so five of our kids have had kids, and we already have ten grandchildren. So at, at the rate we're going, we're going to end up with twenty grandchildren. <laughs> oh, it's nice though, I'm glad to see this family tree growing. So in the next episode, probably we will do Joseph and Jimmy, the next set of twins and see what becomes of them. But on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video.
Bye-bye.